it's time for the January debt snowball. January is usually the month that reflects what happened during Christmas time. <laughs> the holidays are crazy special to me. It would take a whole nother 10 minute video for me to explain why and how much they mean to me and December includes my birthday and yada 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 so let's just say that I'm a little crazier than most people when it comes to the holidays. So I've done Christmas both ways. I've spent way too much on things that didn't mean anything that I didn't need to be buying that I'm probably still paying for now you know 10 years later. And I've also done it most recently where we didn't really spend anything. This year we've made enough progress that I felt comfortable agreeing with my husband to put the snowball on hold and use it for Christmas. We agreed that it was okay if we didn't make any progress on paying off any debt as long as we did not backtrack get into more debt and I gotta tell you for the first time in I don't know how many years over a decade probably I really enjoyed the holiday I got to get my fancy coffee in the red Christmassy cup and walk around the stores looking for something to jump out at me that I could picture my son or my husband's face when they opened it. And I actually found something that was perfect for my son and it was only like six or seven bucks and he loved it. He still tells me every now and then, Mom, thank you so much for buying this. It's, I love it. That's, that's exactly the kind of Christmas that I love. Anyway, so let's see the snowball. At the end of January, this is how much we owed. So for that month, we paid off $197.58. That's huge. I can't even tell you what a huge deal this is for me. I would have been perfectly happy and considered it a success if it had been zero. But we actually paid off something during Christmas time. And I still got to have Christmas. I can't even explain it. It's fantastic. It's a little bitty amount, but it is a huge, huge deal.